Great. And in terms of the quality of the content of the event, and you know, so I guess I'm speaking about the speakers and what they spoke about. How would you describe that? And if you could compare it to other events, that would be useful. Uh, I think from a content perspective, there was variety, a lot that people could choose to engage with. Um, and I think it was of a level that allowed everybody to get what they needed from it. Um, so you could dive into detail where appropriate, but there were some big ideas um, okay. and good comparatively to other events. And in terms of what did that mean in terms of the quality of the delegates, the people that came here? Very high quality of delegates. Uh, I've been involved in a lot of conferences where there's more solution providers than there is attendees. Uh, this is quite clearly not the case, and they are of a, it's it's HRVPs, HR directors, heads of talent. Uh, you're really not getting people um, providing the pace, the space to someone else in a team who's more junior. They're absolutely attending and making that commitment. And in terms of the type of conversations and the quality of conversations you've had compared with other places you go, talk about a little bit about that. I haven't had a delegate at any point approach me with trepidation as a solution provider. They have been very open to talking about what their business challenges are, what they want to deliver and how we could support them to do that. So it's been open discussion, very strategic uh, and not at all conservative because we're in a solution provider position. And what role do you think Osney Media have had in setting up discussions to be like that? I think the comms running up, the fact that you can arrange meetings and that you're expected to want to do that, all gives people the confidence that it's going to be content they're really going to want to engage with and that the people here are going to be people they want to connect with. So I think that setup and the confidence in the communication makes them have high expectations. And in terms of the support that you got on client services leading up to the event, how is that, and again, if you could compare that with other events, that would be useful? High quality of support. Um, there is a lot of the team involved. I uh, particularly appreciated the uh, coaching from a speak speaking perspective. I've never seen that in any other conference. It made a huge difference. Um, and there's always been a daily and weekly desire to make sure we get what we need from it. Nobody wanted to get to the end of it and have regrets. And uh, you, I think you came on here in the promise of 10 meetings. If you look at the doctor's surgeries and other meaningful meetings, about how many would you say you've actually had? It's certainly more than 10. So I would think about 15, and there'll be others that are more informal. Yeah. Uh, so we've been constantly busy talking to um, delegates and others. So that's not common. Typically, there's a lot of downtime. We haven't had that. And do, do you have any expectation of what this might mean in terms of follow-up meetings? I would anticipate at least five to seven follow-up meetings. And typically, based on what happens, do you know what that might mean in terms of new clients, ROI, that sort of thing? If it's consultancy projects, then I think we can see new clients in the next six months. Anything that's bigger and more of an outsource scenario, uh, maybe 12 to 18. But the important thing is that we're engaging before a need. Uh, if we engage at the time that they have a need, often there's not the relationship to, to close something that's meaningful. So what would, so what would be your expectations in terms of ROI? If you couldn't put numbers on it, good, very good, outstanding, what might you think that this... Um, good. good, good. And in terms of, if somebody was thinking of doing the event, you know, thinking, should I speak to them, should I do the event, what would you say to them? I would say, understand the content, understand what the strategy is, and if that is a fit on both sides, then I would absolutely do it. Uh, and be sure that you're clear which other solution providers involve, what that means for you, and be open about that with Osney. And I think it's a partnership where you shape it um, and then you get huge value out of it.